You're watching The Circle this Monday morning. Thank you so much for your company. Now, in recognition of last week's International Recognition Day for People with Disabilities, we paid a visit to a local primary school and met a mother who's really working hard to make mainstream schools be more integrative of children with disabilities. Have a look. If I could tell the world just one thing, it would be we're all okay. Today is International Day for People of, with Disability um, and it's about very much celebrating the contribution that people with disability make to our community and acknowledging the significant role that people with disability have. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Danny. Most of the time, I don't think about having a disability. I'm just a kid like my friends. I've got four kids. Danny and Adam both have disabilities. Adam has um, autism. Danny has a less significant disability, but he's had a lot of a lot of issues with speech, um, with making friends and all those things that other kids seem to do easier. My hands are small, I know, but they're not yours, they are my own. Danny um, has always said to me he wants to be extraordinary and I think he is extraordinary. He's a bright little boy with a thirst for knowledge, with a desire to perform, with a love of life and a love of learning and a very engaging personality. Disability affects all different people around the world. We all need to try harder to work together so everyone can achieve their goals and ambitions. It is important that we remember disability is about being accepting of others and making sure everyone gets a fair go. I've always taken the attitude that disability isn't going to stop us from doing anything, but we certainly have to accommodate. I suppose I've really tried to work out what supports they need um, and tried to, to factor that in in all the family stuff, that we, all the normal family stuff that we do. Struggles are really when you don't get the community support or, or the service support. That's when it's really difficult or you come against, up against attitudes that, that aren't accepting of disability and aren't willing to accommodate it. And then I think with a little bit of knowledge and understanding and open talk, things seem to fall into place. I'm never broken. Traditionally, children with disability have been seen as, as kids that need help. Um, and which kids with disability do need support, but it's also we overlook what a significant contribution that they make. A few moments ago we saw the work that Stephanie Gottlieb has been doing uh, to make schools more inclusive for children with disabilities and we're very happy to have them in the studio this morning. We've got Danny and, and Stephanie. member of CDA, Children okay. with, with Disability Australia. That's Can you right. explain what their, their mission statement is? Okay. Basically it's about um, making a bigger voice for, for children and young people with disability. Mm -hmm. um, so we try and create a, create a greater awareness in the community yep. um, and understanding of, of the experiences of children, young people and families of disability. So how many children are waiting to be integrated? Is there a, a number? It's no, it's not so much. I mean, we're a very we represent a large number of kids. Like we've we've got about five thousand members nationally, yeah. um, but they're not all waiting for, to be integrated. Mm. Um, they are already integrated. Oh, there's all different experiences of disability. Some go to specialist schools, some go to mainstream schools. So it's not quite as simple as as that. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask Danny a question? We saw your presentation at your school. Um, in Thanks. A, yeah, it was That's great. Funny. Really good speech that you gave. Now, um, what's it like being at your school, being in an integrated mainstream school? Yep, I'm just happy to be at the school yep. and, I, and I like my friends, teachers and the principal. And are, pe are people mostly pretty nice to you? Mostly. Yeah. Does anybody ever give you a hard time? They, some boys may they give me a hard time one time or another. Mm. Mm. How do you deal with that then, Danny? I usually tell the nearest teacher. Sometimes yeah. I even tell the principal. Oh, yeah. good for you. I think get in with the principal. You've, you're on the right track there. Stephanie, do you think that um, with, with anyone that's got some sort of differences, whether they're someone with a disability, someone that looks different, I mean, it comes from home about how to talk to, to children about people with, with 
visual, mm. you know, mm. how, do you think that's how it, it should be? It should yeah, I think it comes from home and I also think schools are really, really important, not only in the services that they provide directly to kids, but mm. also in the education that they provide all kids about disability and Absolutely. the example they set. Mm. And that's something that Clifton Hill Primary School, where my kids go, um, is exceptionally good at. What are some of the examples that Clifton Hill does? What sort of activities and, and programs do they run? Look, it's not, it's not so much different activities and programs, it's about their attitude um, of all kids, all kids deserving to be extended and enriched through their education mm -hmm. in a safe and supportive environment. And I think traditionally, you know, kids with disability, there was, there's ad attitudes that they don't achieve as well, mm. or they don't learn in yeah. the same ways. Well, they learn at different paces, but they still they still they learn, still learn. Absolutely. and still should be enriched and extended through their education. And uh, Stephanie, a lot of it to me is about exposure. Like you can say to your kid as often and as many times as you like, you should accept people with disability, but if they're not exposed to any, how are they going to get react? practice? How are they going to be exposed yeah. to those sorts of people? Now, internationally, International Disability Day was on Friday, Friday last that's week. Right. What was CDA, CDA hoping to achieve with that day? Okay. It was about um, creating uh, greater understanding of, of children with disability and acknowledgement of them, of them and also for us because we're obviously a children organisation um, but also celebrating the, the great contribution that children with disability make to our community and it was the school and the local community. And because Danny said he wants to be exceptional, yep. at what darling, what would you like to do? At just being me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling you're pretty good at being you, but your, your mum's right about making a contribution, you know, participating and getting involved. What are your favourite things to get involved with? Do you play sport or...? I do play a bit of sport, mm. but we're all rain on Thursday, which is the normal day where I have inter-school sport. Inter-school sport for the day gets cancelled. Oh. You... Oh. Oh. So you're and dependent just... on the weather then? Yeah, and oh. I'm lucky. Lucky, because I get to, because I get a high temp in between the, in the summer and spring. Oh right, okay. There's more information about CDA on the Circle website if you want to find out more and how you can get involved. And Stephanie, for, we wanted to show appreciation for all the work you do at CDA, so we've put together a few little goodies to help brighten up your Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Great, thank you. In your hamper today, there is a Bon Maman strawberry conserve, an In Essence Island Flower Body Pack worth $60, a family DVD from the Fox Pack Plus range, a Kiki K 2011 calendar to get you organised in style, as well as everyone's favourite, a Lego Toy Story 3 Army Patrol Pack and keyring valued at $35, plus a Ferrero Rocher gift box. <laughs> Danny with you with your sisters and brothers and 50 other families from CDA will also be receiving these hampers they're actually on their way already great Yay. Oh, good. <laughs> so thanks Stephanie and Danny for joining us today thank you